Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Today we're taking a look at an unusual creature that until recently I didn't even know was real. Today we're looking at the Jaboa. When Scorched Earth was released, I assumed the Jaboa was a fantasy creature made up for the purpose of the game, but I was very much mistaken. The small rodents are actually found in the desert environments in Eastern Europe, Asia and North Africa. The biggest difference between the way the Jaboa is depicted in the game and its real-life counterpart is the size. The Jaboa is a mouse-like animal with bodies ranging from 5 to 15 centimeters in length and long tails of 7 to 25 centimeters. There are 33 species of Jaboa with varying physical traits, particularly their ears, which range from small and round to slender and rabbit-like or remarkably large and broad. Hind toes number from 3 to 5 but all species have short forelegs and extremely long hind legs. The tail is often tufted. Jaboa's dense fur is either silky or velvety in texture and light in colour, usually matching the ground of the animal's habitat. Those long hind legs are used in much the same way as a kangaroo, for leaping. The hind limbs are at least four times as long as their front, and Jaboas often have been mistaken for not having any front legs at all, as they are so small and they keep them tucked under their chin. The long tail is used as a balance while hopping, but is used as a prop while sitting upright. Jaboas hop normally at a distance of 10 to 13 centimeters at each stride. However, if the Jaboa is threatened, the hops can become more vigorous, covering up to 3 meters with each bound. This means that Jaboas can reach speeds of up to 25 km an hour when they are chased by predators. They bound from side to side in a zigzag pattern to help confuse their numerous enemies. Almost any predator in the desert will have a go at catching Jaboas, especially foxes, owls and snakes. Jaboas also have the ability to leap vertically over 2 meters high. Desert animals have to be able to cope with very harsh conditions. There are both hot and cold deserts around the world. In both types of desert climate, animals have to be able to exist in an area which is almost waterless for most of the year. In both types of desert, temperatures can vary wildly. The Sahara in Africa, the world's hottest desert, has daytime temperatures as high as 58 degrees centigrade, which can fall away to below freezing at night. Meanwhile, in the cold Asian deserts, such as the Gobi, temperatures may fall to below minus 20 degrees centigrade for more than six months of the year. Incredibly, Jaboas have adapted to survive in both hot and cold desert environments. They don't drink water in the wild and get all the moisture they need from their food, mostly plants and insects. They live nocturnal lifestyles emerging at night to feed. Primarily a solitary animal, the Jaboa lives alone in a burrow, either in isolation or within the colony. Using its teeth, nose and claws, it may excavate a simple temporary one to two foot long single tunnel burrow that it uses to escape from predators or for refuge from extreme temperatures. It also excavates a much more elaborate and more permanent five to eight foot deep burrow that has several tunnels and entrances as well as chambers for hibernation, food storage and nesting. It may line its nesting chamber with shredded vegetation or even camel hair. The Jaboa uses plugs of soil to seal entrances, helping to camouflage the burrow, maintain tolerable internal temperatures and contain moisture. The Jaboa species that live in cold desert environments, such as the Gobi, hibernate throughout the winter, living off body fats. The Jaboa species that live in a hot desert environments, such as the Sahara, stay in their burrows in a state of torpor through the summers. Fossil evidence states the Jaboa's evolutionary history back to the Middle Miocene Epoch as about 16.4 million to 11.2 million years ago in North Africa and Asia. Most animals here at the zoo are extinct, but of course the Jaboa is not, but some species are under threat. The Jaboa appears to face an uncertain future. As it always has, the animal faces a number of predators, especially those that feed at night. These include, for instance, owls, snakes, foxes, jackals, and in populated areas, house cats. The greater long-term threat, however, would seem to be habitat loss inflicted by man. A few of the Jaboa species, for instance the five-toed pygmy Jaboa and the thick-tailed pygmy Jaboa, are currently considered as threatened. 
Other species, for example the long-eared jaboa of the Gobi Desert and the well-known lesser Egyptian jaboa of northern Africa and the Arabian Peninsula, appear on the International Union for the Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources Red List of Threatened Species, although they are ranked among those of least concern. Some species, for instance the long-eared jaboa, have been recommended for more research by international environmental organisations. The Jaboa's range, population trends, threats and management requirements need to be better understood if the animal is to be assured of its long-term survival. Well that's all I have for this week and as always I hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. If you did please let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. Please consider subscribing so you can see more videos like this one. Check the description of this video for all the links you might need like my Twitter, Discord server and Patreon site. I hope to see you next time here at Shredder Zoo. Goodbye.